Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 25th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Tower in the reverse, followed then by Four of Cups in the reverse. Next, we have uh, the Page of Swords upright, followed then by the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright. So for your overall energy, Gemini, you have... The threat passes you by, da 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 <laughs> the Taurus, not Taurus, I'm sorry, the, uh, the tower in the reverse position indicates that there could be something, like the tower for me has uh, two distinct meanings when it's, it's in reverse. One is that something could have happened, like there could have been a catastrophic event or something could have happened um, in the situation, but there was like a, a situation where you caught it before it got worse. Like say, you know, you had your water tanks, you know, uh, started to leak a little bit and then you went down there and you checked and it's like, whoa, it's a good thing I caught it when I did because, you know, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Or, you know, you caught a problem with your car before it caused a major accident, that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes a tower in reverso can indicate there is big uh, changing news that needs to come out, but it's being suppressed for some reason. Now, you can take that however you need to take it. Sometimes it's it's to your advantage and maybe that this news isn't coming out. And sometimes it's, you know, not so much. So, again, this is just a general read. Just take what resonates. But... Yeah, interesting. I always like to see the tower in reverse <laughs> because you just never know when it's in the upright what it could be. Because with the tower in the upright position, it could be just about anything. It could be anything from a minor uh, inconvenience to a major inconvenience, you know. Um, and usually it comes out of the blue. It's something we didn't see coming, that kind of stuff. But the next card you have is the four of cups in the reverse position pointing back to the three of cups in the upright which is a card that represents celebration so maybe for some of you you know the threat passing you by is cause for celebration for others of you this could indicate something or someone has jump-started your emotions again gemini in the upright position the four of cups can point to that sort of emotional apathy that ho-hum or just like mm, can't deal with emotions right now. I've got too much on my mind. I have too much going on. Could be health issues, financial issues, work issues, that kind of stuff. So you're not really interested in the emotional side of life. But when the card is reversed, this can point to something is, and, and because the fact that it can point to the three cups in the upright, which is a card of, of getting together with a small group of people, it could be that maybe at a social event, you meet somebody or you see somebody, maybe even someone from the past you haven't seen in a while, and they sort of pique your interest and start bringing your emotions up. But it's not just romance that makes us feel something on the emotional front. A lot of times people get their emotional satisfaction from their career. They get their emotional satisfaction from their hobbies and things like that. So it, it's not necessarily romantic, although it could very well be. But it definitely seems to be something to celebrate. And the next card you have is the Page of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, the Page of Swords, uh, so many meanings here. Again, with a general reading, it could be anything for you, uh, Gemini. It is air energy, so this could be you. Sometimes the Page of Swords can represent that stalker energy where we're looking up on, look, you know, checking up on someone, sort of uh, driving by their house, checking up on their social media, that kind of thing. Maybe for some of you, it is you, because maybe you meet somebody at this at the beginning of the week and they pique your interest and maybe you start looking them up on, on Facebook and, and Instagram and stuff just to see what they're really up to, which there's no harm in that. A lot of people do it, but uh, just don't go too far. <laughs> When it comes to the Page of Swords, it can also be someone else's sort of spreading rumor. Sometimes the Page of Swords can be a rumor spreader, basically. The one at the water cooler who, who starts to tell you, hey, did you hear there's a rumor going around that the company's going to be doing this and going to be doing that. You always have to make sure if this is what you're experiencing, uh, 
you will have to sort of get it verified basically because the page of swords doesn't always give you the full story if this is someone say that you are dating the page of swords could represent a youthful person or somebody younger than yourself this person could be you know just I don't know why bag of wind came to mind. Could just be a bag of wind, just like somebody who just sort of spurts things. Maybe because remember, he hasn't run the gauntlet the way that the king of or the knight of swords even, but more so the king of swords and the queen of swords. They've already mastered the art of communication. The page is only at a page level, so it doesn't always know, you know. Um, how to communicate effectively. I mean, we'll just leave it at that. So if you're hearing any information at the beginning of the week, especially about work or just rumors going around, verify, verify, and then verify again. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. Well, the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position points to that work or B card where we're just sort of nose to the grindstone, we're minding our own business, just trying to get a project finished, trying to, uh, you know, work so many hours so we can make X amount of dollars because we have a design for that. When the card is inverted, however, it can point back to the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position, which is a card that represents reevaluating something. So maybe for some of you, you were working really hard towards something and you did have your nose to the grindstone. You were just sort of working, 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 but maybe something happened. There could have been a delay. There could have been a halt to something and it put you, because this can sometimes represent a setback. So it could be that it this, this setback is sort of, in a sense, forcing you to take a look at the situation and reevaluate it again. So sometimes we put a lot of work into something that in the end will probably not or may not be worth it. So it really isn't worth our time to continue on. That's a good time to look back and to reevaluate a situation. And that could be what's happening, whether it's on the personal front, on the work front, career front, you know, whatever resonates for you. And then the last card, leave it to the Gemini. The last card you have is the Two of Pentacles in the upright position. Here we go. Juggle, 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 says Gemini. Let's keep juggling. So this is typical of, of Gemini. You set, you, you uh, are a Delta setback. And what do you do? You make it work anyway. That's the Geminis I've always known in my life have always been masters at that. So this is like picking up that ball and sort of making it work. So whatever it is, I think you figure it out pretty quickly. You know what to do. Typical, again, of Gemini. You don't let, let any grass grow under your feet when it comes to, you know, getting things moving again. Gemini likes that movement, likes that flow, likes to keep things going, doesn't you know, sit there and, uh, you know, dwell on things that are not going. You just pick up that ball and keep moving forward. Typical of a Gemini. Also, too, the two pentacles can sometimes represent juggling if you're, say, dating two different people, which, again, there's nothing wrong with it if you're single and, and looking. There's, you know, as long as nobody's getting hurt in the situation, it's all good. So it could be that you're just, you know, maybe you're trying it on for size. You're trying two different people to see which one, you know, resonates with you more than the other. Others of you, you could be uh, juggling your your checkbook. You know what I mean? Trying to maybe throw some finances into here to offset any losses to over there. That kind of thing. Maybe some of you picked up a second job and you're doing double duty. But again, it's harmony in the midst of change. So whatever's going on here, you're making it work. <laughs> Gemini's making it work. <laughs> what an interesting reading here you guys got this week. So that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, yeah, so if the reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.